Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna help you navigate the uber complex world of Italian labels with a particular focus on a very tiny label, which is probably the most confusing one. Italy is one of the oldest and most renowned wine producing countries in the world with a history that dates back thousands of years. The Italian classification system and denominations were designed in 1930. In theory, the system was designed to help consumer navigate and understand the quality and the origin of the wine they're buying. Again, in theory. Let's break down these classifications and see if we can make any sense out of it. Italian wines are classified into four main categories. Vino da tavola, table wine or VDT. Two, EGT, Indicazione Geografica Tipica. Three, DOC, Denominazione d'Origine Controllata. Four, DOCG, Denominazione d'Origine Controllata e Garantita. Let's start with Vino da tavola or VDT. These wines are produced with authorized grapes, but don't necessarily adhere to any specific regional or quality regulations. Also, the quality of the wine and the year are not necessarily mentioned on the label. This is the least amount of information we have in the whole denomination pyramid. Next, we have EGT. So we basically have Vino da Tavola, but this is the first denomination, so the producer is already following the rules of a broader denomination. So the wine has already a connection to the land where it's produced. Also for EGT wines, the producer may or may not mention the year and the grape of the wine. Personal comment on these two first uh, labels for, for Italian wine, in the last I want to say 15, 20 years, a lot of the so-called artisanal slash natural producers decided to withdraw from any denomination. So no DOCG, no DOC, and not even EGP because they didn't like the rules imposed by these denominations. This is unfortunately a double-edged sword because without regulation, it's impossible for the consumer to know whether a bottle like this or like this is an amazing artisanal wine produced by people that farm the land and make the wine with love, which for this specific case, it's exactly what it is. But honestly, finding these two bottles um, in a wine shop or uh, at, the, at the restaurant, you have no way of knowing whether this is pure crap or great wine. Luckily, there is a wine club that ships Piemonte wine directly to your door. And it doesn't really matter whether they have a DOCG label or no label at all, because we make the selection for you and we make sure we ship the best. Next up, we have DOC. These wines must meet strict regulations regarding grape varieties, production methods, and aging. This is a considerable step up from EGT. The area of production is smaller. The wine produced must meet tasting criteria and the year must be shown on the label. Some examples are Dolcetto d'Alba, Barbera d'Alba, and Verduno per la Verga. At the top of the classification system, we have DOCG. A DOC wine zone can become a DOCG wine zone only after seven years. These wines must past even more rigorous standards. The DOCG areas are smaller and tasting panels provide stamps of approval during winemaking and after bottling as well. Some examples of DOCG Piemonte wines are Barolo, Barbaresco, Roero and Alta Langa. So is DOCG wine better than Vino da Tavola? In theory, 
yes, but unfortunately the classification doesn't really provide any type of information regarding quality, but only in terms of controls and regulation. In fact, there is a lot of very bad DOCG wine out there, so be careful. And at the same time, there are producers that are completely outside any type of denomination that make wine that will blow your mind. So you want the best advice, use this denomination as a baseline, but always look for a direct contact. Someone that not only knows the area well, but will tell you about the story of the people and the land where the wines are made. You will be surprised at how diverse the selection that we ship to all of our Wine Club member is in terms of denomination. We honestly really don't care about which label and how the bottle looks. What is important is the wine inside and the people behind it. Make sure you check out our Wine Club. The website is right here below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.